Right, the second of the Patreon games today is Inspector Waffles, aka Nancy Drew and the Curious Cat. I just can't seem to escape these detective-like games. Two weeks of them and then straight back into another one. Um, I don't really have anything to say about it, so let's just hit the new game and go for it. By default, hints and clues and dialogue are highlighted in yellow to make interactions more intuitive. Sounds good to me. Oh, I, I guess we started already then. I was worried that this game would have voice acting, but it appears not to. Midnight in Cat Town. So, oh, this must be our titular Inspector Waffles here. Heading to a new crime scene. Why do I do this job? I could be anywhere right now. Chilling on the beach, sipping a pina colada. I have never seen a cat on a beach before. But I've also not seen many warm beaches in my life. Working day and night for the town. Mother wanted me out. I should have listened. Mum's always right. Mum with an O. If there's one thing I like more than strong milk, it's solving Mr. I knew we were in with the Nancy Drew here. So we're on the scene, looking like a stray cat as usual. I wasn't expecting to be working tonight. Who's the victim? Fluffy. And this is Patch. Okay, so they all have very cat-like names. I wouldn't have pegged Waffles as a cat-like name, but then I remember... Uh, I remember a dubbing of You Say We Pay Richard and Judy, where a guy described his cat as being called Waffles. So, our stiff here is Fluffy, the boss of Box Furniture. We love their boxes. We can't rule out suicide here. We've been waiting for us to sniff out the truth. It's more of a dog thing there. Cat lady at the front gate. A friend of the victim came by earlier, rang his doorbell, someone jumped over the fence, vanished into the dark. A shadow. Oh, shadow. A big shadow. We'll look around the house and chat once we're done, but we can't access the top floor. Kick it down. No, we need clearance. Valuable resource in our pocket, a brilliant ex-inspector able to help you at any moment. Okay, so we have Bess in our back pocket who we could phone up for advice. Check notepad, little notes, da 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 Alright. So it seems that we don't actually move our character around, we just click on things that we see on the screen, so it appears like a point and click adventure to me. Got our knapsack with nothing in it. Settings, well, I might as well save games, save and save often. What? Well, let's bring that down, shall we? It's of me and getting games with uh, horrific loud sound effects. I think that music can also be killed a little bit. I wonder if Waffles will steal everything that isn't nailed down as well, says Panny. It seems like the detector, uh, detective's way. Are there special laws that allow detectives to just swipe everything they see? I know you're big enough to handle a case on your own, but if you ever get stuck, you can always count on me. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I spell mum with a U. Right, let's go rooting through the trash. So cliche. Nothing special aside except for this broken screwdriver. 
right click on something in your inventory. Maybe if you're just picking up trash, not so much. Okay. A broken screwdriver found in a trash can. Patch is right, I'm an alley. Mm -hmm. Maple. Maple, eh? Not too far to spin that into another M word. Made your fortune in supermarkets. Tower with name, humble. Yeah, I would, I'd hate to have something like that. I'm not going to play with it even if I really want to play with the ball of wool. This dead cat is the reason why I'm here. A few things sadder than seeing a dead cat. Polaroid picture. A cat at the beach. Red lighthouse behind him. Why would Fluffy have a photo? Why indeed. Oh yeah, I finished Fire and Ice, sorty. And it finished me. Oh, I just noticed our little our little cursor icon has a little moving... Well, I'm gonna guess it's meant to be a tail, but that feels a little open to interpretation. Okay, so we get these... these things about characters that we click on. I can ask him. Ask him about the top floor. Please feel free to use me for interrogation practice. Talk to me all you'd like. As you explore, you'll gather items and clues, and you can ask me questions. Can I ask you about this nasty old screwdriver thing? Yeah, I'll pass on that. I'm missing something. Well, how about we just go into the house? Oh, can I exit, actually? No, okay. Strange, the bottom floor is a bit small for a house as big as this. Doesn't matter for now. Oh, it might matter. Might be going full fritzel here. A bust, the first time I've ever seen one outside of a museum. Fancy, there's a hole in the mouth. I'm really not a fan of the pixel look here. If they're trying to emulate how games used to look, this isn't it. No, Dark Young, I'm not a cat. Right, let's check the photos perhaps. Black and white photos of Cat Town from almost a century ago. We are starting to build skyscrapers, the city was booming. Cats would have enjoyed living here today. I think of one place and I think of a big bridge, and it's not a nice place to live. Old fragile base, I kinda want to break it, my instincts are kicking in pretty strong. Sculpture, 9th century, southern doggo. Uh, are we gonna have anthro dogs going on here as well? Nice bedroom. Being rich definitely has its perks. Famous painting. There's something odd about the. F Ooh. Well, here's our first bit of swiping being done. The Great Catsby. I've never read. That. I'm a little worried. This is going to be two hours of lame cat puns. It was hidden, so I must take it. Can we open it up? Maybe there's something in... No, okay. Well... Skateboard. One wheel broken off. I'm gonna take it! Shanks. Semi-pro wood ball player. What is wo Oh, wool ball. My tiger, I can't wait until the next time I hear you roar tenderly. Am. We just can't escape her, can we? Mm. Back in the day, Fluffy was quite the elegant cat. Who even is this Fluffy guy? Rich, classy, smart, but despite all of that, alone. Quite right. 
Maybe Fluffy wanted to forget something about his relatives. But I'm writing that down. Seems odd to call that a clue. Fluffy was alone. That's a different game, and it's called Thomas Was Alone. And it's not very good. Alright, I mean, I would have stolen a lot more things from here, so this guy's clearly just starting out his detective career. I think Nancy got more and more klepto as time went on, and it took a long time for anyone to call her out on it. Handle is missing. Well, I bet I could fashion a handle out of this wheel and this broken screwdriver. It fits perfectly. There we go. That is the kind of intense logical thinking you get when you grow up playing point and click adventure games. Every rich guy has his own library. I don't think no matter how rich I get I would have my own library. Ah. Well, actually, there's something quite soothing about being surrounded by books, even if you don't read them. It doesn't contain a single comic book. Well, that's the problem right there. Let's just slam in the missing book and see this whole wall shift for us. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to need another book to fill in another hole. Dog slang, dog accents, it's all about dogs. Alright, let's hunt down another book. I have an ebook reader, that's my library now. Doesn't it do in your eyes to be reading on an ebook reader? I heard they were developing um, electronic paper that will make words appear on paper but without the downside of having a backlight on it. I'm not going to check for clues in a litter box. I don't hate myself enough for that. They, they, they're bipedal, but they're still using the litter box. I have no idea how to use a hairbrush. Why would Fluffy have female perfume? Someone else must have left it here. Perhaps it belongs to the lover, but we're not going to swipe it. Loose tile here. It must be the book inside. Who would have thought? Katsakstan. Alright, enough of this nonsense. Let's proceed. The e-paper has no backlight. It's readable and in light. That's good enough for a book. I think I'd prefer not to have a backlight so it would probably do in the eyes after a while. Then again, this is speaking from a guy who runs his monitor on zero brightness fine in a country with no light half the year. A secret office, well that explains the lack of size of the house before. Hmm, I haven't got time to start a puzzle. I saw this window broken from the outside, someone pushed him out the window. It's strength and glass. Whoever did this was very strong. Clearly it was me, then. Mouse tails, duck grease, salmon. It's a grocery list. Fluffy enjoyed good food. Grocery list pinned up in the office. Seems like something that should be in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna steal it. Mmm, duck grease. There's a hair in the grass here. A dog hair. Oh, I do not like where this is going. But I don't. I don't care for where it is, let alone where it's going here. Nocturne Opus Nine Number Two. Clopin, one of my favorites. Too bad I don't know how to play the piano. And you and me both. Is that blood? It is blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Dead before falling from the top floor. That explains why I didn't land on his paws. I'm sure he was murdered, but I don't know the reason. Let's 
go rifling through the drawers, useless papers, bills, installation CD, piano lesson, an insult letter. Someone named Irwin sent a letter a week ago. Among all the other barbs, a platypus. What? Can we read it? It starts with a long list of insults, some very creative stuff here. I don't know if platypus could be used as an insult. I like them, they're cute. Hmm. Who would sign such a letter? Can't keep hiding these two books every time. I would like a door that I can open electronically quickly and easily. Can you do that for me? No delivery name or address. No disks found. Everything was recently erased. Well, unerase it. So he still doesn't have time to puzzle out the broken glass. I was hoping I could fit it together like a Nancy Drew game. Wait, I'm a little confused. Ah, right, here's the door to the secret office that goes through the, the bathroom. Or through the library. Well, I think I've seen everything I want to see, unless I can shove something into the mouth of that bust. What do I have that I could shove into it? None of these seem about right, so let's skedaddle and talk to whoever this is. Patches. Did you find a way to the top floor? Feel free to use me for interrogation practice. Never played much of L.A. Noir. Didn't seem like my kind of game. Alright, let's talk about how lonely he is. Mentioning this clue won't give me answers. What, really? This clue isn't relevant to what we're currently discussing. A secret office on the top floor, Chief. A lot of blood, too. We need to get forensics. Oh, forensics. Do you think the murderer knew about the office? Could he have gotten in on his own? Hard to say. Could be invited in, or knew. Nothing about it's going to be cut and dry. Oh my god, this is... This is grim. <laughs> Especially if I can compare it to playing Nancy Drew. Did you play Hotel Dusk? Oh my god, yes. Hotel Dusk and its sequel, Hotel Dusk 2? Well, whatever it was. Fantastic games. Some of the best for the DS right there. Up there with uh, Phantom... What was it? Ghost Phantom? Ghost, Ghost Trick. That's it. Yeah, The Last Widow. Try to be a bit more optimistic. Waffles, we've solved a fair share of tricky cases in the past. There's a dead body five feet from where we're standing. Let's not be so optimistic. Celebrate once we solve the case. What are we waiting for? Let's go and ask her some questions. Can't think straight until I've had my milkshake. Let me enjoy it. What, what is... This game's really stupid. Okay, don't go running... Don't go running it. Running what? Talking about salty foods while I'm drinking a milkshake. Respect the sh- Mouse tails, duck grease. Okay, so I'm talking to him about salty things that makes him not like drinking his shake. Duck grease and milkshake. Ugh, it's hard to be a gourmet nowadays. You're disgusting, but you're still drinking. It's ruining, not running. The game should take into account that I'm going to misread it. Uh, Lumo, the reporter, is already on the scene. This cat is suspicious. He always knows more than he should. Always the first reporter. How does he do it? Is it true that Fluffy has been murdered by a dog? By the statement as soon as... Come on, Patches, give my readers. Oh. Let's 
keep that little slip of secret from the higher ups. Got it. Waffles, let's go. Witness, help us out. Maybe I could talk to the reporter. Seems like a bad idea, so we'll do it. Oh no, we've already wasted too much time. He's the worst investigator I've ever met. How did he become chief? Even I couldn't solve. <laughs> Nepotism? Bribery? Everyone tells me that I should buy a new car. What's wrong with this one? It runs. Not fast, but it runs. Oh, we got the political undertones going as well. Cookie is our current mayor. He's running for re-election. Political opponent is famous billionaire Maple. Ah, there we go. We're not interested in politics. Good. Interested enough to know the favorite, though. Good evening, miss. I'm Inspector Waffles. This is Chief Patches. I'm too upset to talk right now after what happened to my dear friend. I don't think they were just friends. Were you alone when you saw the body? Is your husband home? Maybe you don't have a husband. Maybe it's better if I take the lead on this one, boss. Miss Millie. Just Millie is fine. Couple of things. I only see one, and his neighbor spelt wrongly. Did you know the victim? Yes, he was a kind cat, a good neighbor. Never had any problems with him. We used to talk about flowers, cooking, traveling. Never anything serious, just idle chatter. But maybe I found this love letter. Inspector, I'm not the only cat whose name starts with M. It's clearly Manette. Do you know if Fluffy was in a relationship? I need to find out who this M was. Let's say you have nothing to do with this letter. Who do you think M is? Single, never saw anyone else inside his house. Fluffy was a lonely... had a lonely life. I don't think he was interested in finding someone. Ooh. Petit Chaton Parisienne. It's the little Parisian cat. It's my top notch French kicking in right there. Miss Millie, we need you to tell the truth now. It's not my perfume in it, yeah. I see, this seems awfully baseless here. You went inside the house, yes, me. You're right, Fluffy was my friend, I had no reason to kill him. Whoa, whoa, nobody said you killed him, Millie. What have you been doing for the last couple of hours? Nothing special, just home watching TV. I'm an indoor cat. I enjoy a quiet night in on a warm, beautiful evening. So what's up with the chimney smoke? Hmm, <laughs> hmm. I'll try to get a warrant if I think it's necessary. You don't have proof. Well, you're right, I don't have proof. Why are we harassing Millie here? Did you see the killer? From my window, I saw someone running through the garden. Someone big. Probably not a cat. Ah, we have heard that before. But I think we heard it from you before. Moto's asking what's up with the terrible smoke animation. Yeah. There's pixel work done right and pixel work done wrong. And this ain't right. Could you tell us if they had white hair? No, it was darker than that. Are you confident it wasn't a cat? I'm not sure, but it was big. Oh, I had a cat called Shadow, but he wasn't big. At night, all cats are... Who says that? I can't be the only one thinking this writing is awful, right? And again, I am comparing this to Nancy Drew. Did Fluffy have enemies? Who would want to hurt him? 
company, lots of money, I'd assume so. No, we don't talk about business. Hmm. Do you know anything about this insult letter, though? Fluffy has mentioned this Irwin before. Irwin is his brother. Cats do have a lot of siblings. I have seen some enormous cat litters in my time. I think one of my cats had eight kittens. Cribbits, that was a handful. The first written reference of all cats are grey at night is from 1546, says Max, using his vast intelligence stat. Fluffy didn't even know if his older brother was dead and alive. Do you mean dead or alive? Some say he's dead, some say he's alive. Depends on your point of view. Are we making a Schrodinger joke here? Some kind of black cat. Doesn't match up with the white hair that we saw, though. What are you thinking, Waffles? She's hiding something, so do I. I'm disappointed. Usually magic happens quickly. Are we even getting paid for this? Millie is as clean. She knew the victim. How can I prove it? Fluffy. Why did he have a hidden office? Erwin fella. Oh, that's right. We had a Polaroid. Did you know Maple can save your city with his skills as a great businessman? Vote Maple. <laughs> Fluffy, the famous billionaire, was found dead. Chief Patches confirmed he had been murdered. Inspector Waffles will be leading the case. He is a cat who arrested Snowball after the rooftop incident. Lumo. I thought Inspector Waffles had retired. Okay, we're not we're not gonna dig up the tragic backstory here then. I'm with you there, Rolling Ninja. I think only Bess can save us from the Oh, okay, that's chapter one done already. All cats do is sleep. And all Patcha seems to do is eat and drink. He's getting crumbs all over our floor here. <laughs> Alright. We cleaned ourselves up enough. Okay, I think I prepared my time with Mystery of the Druids more than this. And that was a punishment game. If I can easily find any folder, I don't think so. Oh, we got ourselves a piece. Oh. Six year old milk. Maybe he likes a white Russian. Yeah, there we go, Vodcat. Almost clever, but not quite. Let's go and see the chief. Mm. Mm. Yellow spot. I think that's his badge, Marvin. And I think it's just a sprite flip as well. Right. Mm. Cat Town Police Department logo. A legendary unknown inspector. They were the first to solve a case in the city. Kitten and the Broken Branch. Intr Sounds like lying straight out of Euristo here. Alright, Patches, what's going on? Oh my, it's Cookie. He brought us croissants, they're good. Please have a croissant, yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, cats don't go for sweet things. 
So it seems, seems a weird thing to go for there. Especially since he was drinking a milkshake. Okay, let's get serious. We're talking about Fluffy. It's a tragedy I knew Fluffy personally since kindergarten. We were like brothers. I want you to put all of your efforts into finding who's behind us. No more cats stuck up trees or behind glass doors. This is your only priority. Can't afford to have a killer roaming the streets in election time. Maple's already told everyone I'm a coward. Some real favoritism going on here. They love sweet things, just not good for them. I have had a lot of cats, and I have never once seen them remotely interested in something sweet. Patches, I guess you know what you're doing with this cat. He's still the best inspector I've got. Da 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 da. The most depressed. You can't blow everything up like you did with the snowball case. You can't go through that. This is this is such drivel. I did my best, but I came to the inevitable conclusion: I'm not able to keep a plant alive. Meatballs, big muscles, not too bright. I know him very well. We were in kindergarten. Ah, kitten garden. Younger, wasn't afraid of anything except his mom. He's not a leader. Every time, so you know what? We haven't called Bess so far. Let's change that. Hey mom, it's me, Little Waffles. How are we doing? Just wanted to ask you about something. I think she's hinting on us to get a new car. She's also wearing glasses? How bizarre. No, Marvin, you were right. It is on, on the different side, and it's not a... It's not even a sprite flip. What's up with that? Find where Erwin is. I have no clue where to start. Have you talked with the tech cat at the station? Pixel. I've never heard of these things, but seems like Mom is a big guide in this game, so we don't want to talk to her at all. If there's a god for dogs, this guy was blessed like no. Oh, he took the luck bless. He's so famed for his luck that bad guys want him on their team for heists and burglaries. He's practically useless at any given task, but a real lucky charm. I didn't I didn't give this game the rights to my identity. Just meatballs again. Anything else here? Pepper. A witty criminal cat, he ruled an empire of illegal milk distillery. It must be talking about Corneria from Lilat Wars. Put an end to his business, put him in jail, two weeks later he disappeared. No hints about him, he's good. Well, this feels like a big old waste of time, so out we go. Damn Jake, with this in black and white too, the furries are coming out in droves. Well then, Bunny, you just need to get a sword and cut them down. Second window, interrogation room. Pat just came up with a fake name, and yes, he thought it was hilarious. Inspector Nado. Pancakes. Okay, so probably some tragic backstory with pancakes. I actually intend on making some pancakes soon. Uh, I don't like being in the interrogation room when there's no one to interrogate. Not that I'm superstitious, it just makes me... <laughs> it's got something to hide then, eh? Be careful, if you get too close, I could sting you. Written on a... Oh, my. Don't know why there's the pie symbol above Pixel's office here. Oh, probably indicating there's some kind of nerd. Yeah. I think he's wearing a Day of the Tentacle t-shirt there, which would make a homage to other point-and-clicks here. Difference is Day of the Tentacle was really good. Optimized database, 
Relational model not normalized. Da 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 da. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some references here. That looks like Meat Boy from Super Meat Boy. Got Day of the Tentacle on his T-shirt. Um, is that Cheer now? Ah, uh, what the heck is that thing? It's not giving me a lot of pixels to work with. This is a pipe from Mario. Um... No, nope, that's, that's me pressed. DNA machine is broken. I should find a way to fix it, maybe not. Looks more like Morse code. I should really try to decide. No, I don't think I should. Learning stuff. <laughs> it's a waste of time, man. Alright, Pixel. Any clues for me? The green thing on the whiteboard looks vaguely like a space invader. Ah, that it does. Yeah, it's something to show me any unexpected objects you found at the residence. Yeah, this croissant. Okay, he's not interested in that. Is he interested in my milk? Certainly not. Okay, some stuff we actually found. Here's a Polaroid. It's not the victim. Nope, never seen him. Can you maybe run this photo through one of your technology things? Nope. Talk IRL. Give me the Polaroid, I'll compare it with some other photos we have. One second, here we go. Ugh. Alright, what else do we find? This hair, but you said the DNA thing's broken. Can't use the DNA scanner, it was broken. Three days ago, someone was playing with a ball in my office. I know you don't want anyone in your office, you always close the door even when you're gone for less than 30 seconds, I'm sure, with zero doubt that you are the one who broke it. Uh-huh. We need a replacement CPU. Anything from the X8 line, or is that an H? Probably an X. Okay, can anyone read this Morse code, by the way? Dot, dot, dash, 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 dot, four dashes, five dashes, two dots and three dashes. It's not four letters, it's cer certainly more than that, but what it is, I have no clue. It's a shame they didn't take the opportunity to put loss on the whiteboard. What else can I show you around here? Uh, grocery list? Apparently not. Someone named Irwin sent a very nasty letter. There are 30 cats named Irwin in Cat Town. But we don't know the relations. It's poorly designed. Did you ever meet a cat with a last name, Waffle? Ah, oh, that's a good point. Well, it's a point. Maybe not a good one. Spotty is an amazing sniffer of waffles. He can help you find where your Irwin lives. Mm-hmm. A good dog. It's time to meet Spotty. Spot. Spot was a dog from what was it? I forget. Okay, I think the insinuation here is that there'll be a time where we go and prize through pixel stuff and steal it when he's not here. It says 2102. 2102. What could it mean? Alright, where are we going to see Spotty? Mocha. Did I come down these stairs? Okay, but it flipped perspective. How strange. 
It's waffles. No, leave me alone. <laughs> You're just a hassle. Can't get you be like your colleagues. I spent half my time filling out paperwork because of you, and not only warrants. I have to justify why you steal clues on crime scenes. <laughs> At least you're getting called out on it. Never clean up after yourself. Got an entire department complaining about the messes you make. Bring me a decent breakfast. Cinnamon coffee and almond croissant. Maybe then... Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never heard of an almond croissant. Can I just dig up some almonds and uh, put them on the croissant and call it a day? Okay, how, how do we skedaddle from here? How do we get out of here? That's the office, interrogation room, the empty office, the hall. We call them Amandines and they're delicious as but Oh, maybe this game's set in Canada. I don't like almonds, but I tend to add them to my food just for variety's sake. Oh, right, this is the exit all along. Thought I tried it. Ah, Morty. We're hungover, but we're fine. I'd like to talk to you about Fluffy's trip to the box. Because Fluffy owned box furniture. Uh. Who was it? There we go. Modo's saying, I think they wrote the puns and then put a game around them. I'm getting that impression as well. This is, this is pretty grim. So here's our st- uh. I say artists are never appreciated in their time. Tell me anything about them. Our killer is very strong. No cat could throw someone this heavy through a window. Someone held him down with such force that Fluffy couldn't defend himself. Fluffy wasn't young, but he was a big cat, hard to move, tossed out like a trash bag. Possibly a big dog, or a wolf. Ugh. Who made this game, actually? Um, I'm gonna need to find who made it and make sure I don't check out the rest of their stuff. Inspector Waffles, 11 quid on Steam. Made by Golosso Games. Golosso Games, previously known for some other pixely looking game called Antenna Dilemma. Which is another point and click game. Okay, published by HitSense, who have made Excessively Late? No, no, Get to the Orange Door. Stickman Epic, Shores Unknown. Yeah, but I mean, what does the publisher matter? The answer is not at all. Alright, talk to me, Morty. I bet it was Alpha, says Panda. <laughs> I think Alpha would have the skills to put this together. Another nine lifer, I take it. That's what he wrote in his suicide note, at least. There are more and more of these nine lifers. Sounds like some kind of religious movement for cats. No one's behind bars. Coffee machine makes the worst coffee I've ever tasted. 
I'll take a cup with me. It could help with the interrogation. Or cleaning my car as a witch. Is coffee good for cleaning? Oh no, she wanted some kind of special kind of coffee, didn't she? Can we skip through this with shift or control or alt or space or... No, well, click, click, click it is. Okay, no one likes it. One big boon about working at Paradox was some really good coffee. Unfortunately, I hate coffee, so that was no good for me. You know what I miss the most about my city? Smoked sockeye salmon from Foxy Burger. Best place in the world. The taste, the flavor, I miss home, I don't like fish. Smells bad, like cheese. Oh, it's a dog, it's spotty. Almost couldn't tell it's a dog because, by the gods. It's bad to rip into other people's creative work, but I can't hide the fact that this game kind of disgusts me. It all stinks. What do you like to eat? Hot dogs. A lot of dogs like hot dogs. Sausages are good. Uh, not like you waffles. I can't stand hearing uh, conversation between people, especially if it's cringy. Do you enjoy tea or do you just live a blessedly caffeine-free life? I do live a caffeine-free life, actually. On the rare occasion that I have a cup of tea, it's this really namby-pamby, uh, uh, you know, like aniseed and fennel kind of stuff. Or I have tea that isn't even tea. It's just uh, honey, lemon, and hot water. Maybe a piece of mint if I'm feeling extravagant. Dogs will eat anything. I had a dog that ate coal. I don't, I don't know why, it just loved coal. And we had a lot of coal, so we'd find a lot of, well, broken bits of coal, chewed up bits of coal all around the house. Yeah, because of the energy. <laughs> Four times the energy of wood. Okay, help me out, Spotty, a job? Okay, he's all excited at the prospect of being helpful. Irwin, find Irwin, take a sniff. Ugh, smells like fish. Tomato sauce and grilled codfish. There's a fish shop around the corner, the smells are blending in, my nose is confused. Right, what kind of punny names do we have in the background here? The Red Lion, Comb As You Are. Or was it Come As You Are? Couldn't tell. No, it is Comb. It looks like a barber's. Ooh, a Bone Shaman. I can't think of any way to make them viable in Dom 5, but I have seen them and thought they're quite interesting. You see that barber shop across the street, comb as you are? Yes, I've never been inside, even in spite of my deep love for puns. It's the fifth time we've driven past it, we're going around in circles. Mm-hmm. This is just awful. <laughs> it's... It's not even punishment awful, it's just... It's bad. Alright, Frank. Why am I at a... Why am I at a hot dog place? The red option, hot dog with ketchup, yellow option, ugh, with mustard. A hot dog with ketchup and mustard. <laughs> I haven't had a hot dog in a very long time, but they're not. It's kind of like guilt food. You'll eat it and you go, mmm, and then a short bit later you'll go, oh. 
You're a good boy, Spotty, but still no hot dog now. Maybe later. Someone choked on my hot dogs again? No, no, no. A bit more complex. So we're only two blocks away from the police station run by cats, and apparently there's only one cat in this neighborhood. I never talked to him, I just heard he's messing around with a bunch of electronics. Haven't seen him for a long time. Four days. For dogs, it's seven times longer. Well, how much longer is it for cats? I forget who has the longer lifespan, cats or dogs. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty sure I've had cats that outlive dogs, but also like vice versa. Uh, he's got a limp. Heard about him complaining at once. The stairs are painful. Duly noted. So our friend Irwin's got a limp going on him. Lots of dogs in and out of the building. Maybe they're here to see your cat. Maybe not. Cats. Just think proofs that cat has been here. Um. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I could rub everything against them, but that's not doing it. Oh, right, yes. These are the clues that I could rub in his face. And I'm not having any of that. Let's go and check out what's going on here. Maybe find the clue that we're looking for. Erwin's mailbox maybe something useful inside. We just bust it open then. Whoever owns this umbrella is definitely a cat. A dog would enjoy the raindrops, not avoid them. It's very generalizing there. Oh, interesting. Right, well, there's proof that a cat's been here. Same tomato sauce and grilled codfish smell I got in the letter. It's not very strong, it's coming from upstairs. Duke the janitor, uh, Irwin the cat, the keys, <laughs> we live in a world of bureaucracy and paperwork, a dream come true, kindergarten, da 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 da, yeah here's a photo of us. No? Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's a shame. Tell me two more things about- oh, this is just... So we need one more thing to prove that uh, we know Erwin. Maybe the insult letter from him will do it. No? Maybe a love letter? Just rub everything against him, old point and click style. Just figure out something around it. Oh my days. Hello, kitty cat. None have called me that in a long time. Montres. Oh, Jesus. What is a lovely cat Just like you doing stuff here? We're looking for your neighbor, Erwin. Duty, can't allow personal questions. Da, 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 da. How did this how did this game rate on Steam?
very positive 96 percent out of 62 reviews i guess i'm in the wrong then okay erwin's the only cat living here he's easy to spot i do not know him very well but he's a shy cat only a few friends i see who's coming out through the corridor did not get out much no visitor chings wonder how many of my neighbors here are spying on me then he helped residents, a small electronic task, thick light, a pair of TV, good with paws. We give him milk, cookies, and a couple of dollars. I'd work for free food. Ugh. Was the last time you saw Irwin? Yesterday, he left his apartment so quickly, he had a big case of luggage with him. But alas, he has not come back yet, that poor, poor kitty. I'm not sure any of this is really going to help us here. Hot Dog Seller said he's been out for four or five days. One of you's wrong. I would not lie to you. I saw Cat leave yesterday. Uh, je is not sure. Definitely a cat. Hmm. He was walking very fast. Well, it couldn't be Erwin. Erwin has a limp. I think you're onto something. Handsome, smart, how... Ugh. Could not say, his face was hidden from me. Do not know cats except Irwin. Hope you can find them. Unusual to say, but we all like Irwin. He has been so helpful. This is just. Modo says some people will upload any pixel art game. It's a thing, really? Why? I don't know what they're going for with this, though. Old games didn't look like this. Maybe it's this new kind of way of doing it, but I, I do not think it looks so good. Did you come to moi for round two? Oh. Wait, why am I still talking to you here? Ah, right, it's a little help, and I assume we could rub up different things against her, but what that would be, I do not know. Can we just get away from you? We're confident that we're missing something. Can we look at the stuff here? Maybe Spotty has an idea? I'll just throw everything at her, see if anything works. That's a no. I don't think we've picked up anything new to claim that we are uh, the best friend here. Yeah, certainly not. Alright, perhaps Hot Dog Friend has a new thing to say. Erwin had any visitors lately? Hard to say. Lots of dogs in and out. Dogs. You ever seen another cat coming in? Has there been a cat here? Yes, yes there has. Do I have anything to prove that though? Yeah, the umbrella, of course. Raining, black umbrella. Somebody with a black umbrella didn't get a look at their snout. I'm not a bouncer. That's all we remember. A white tail, very well groomed, right? Well, there's that white hair that we found indoors there. Definitely stuck out in this neighborhood. Not many people around here who can afford a pampered lifestyle. Cinnamon, eh? Wait, don't we want that for the coffee? Probably a lot. Help me find my missing ingredient. We'll share the cinnamon. What are you looking for? 
Is it coffee? Is it disgusting coffee or croissants? No? Okay. Oh, what was the ingredient? Cat Town style hot dog. Maybe this milk? No? Okay, well none of that's going on then. Oh, we can actually go into the antique shop here. Any other references going on here? Some kind of weird face on that. Some kind of unicorn thing. Oh, Jing, I don't want to spend any longer here than need to be. Spotty, what's happening? Nothing special being smelt. some disgusting coffee or a croissant or even some milk okay what about you Margaret It's like a drill going through my head, slowly, deliberately, and very painfully. He lives just across the street, maybe he's been in a shop at some point, I don't know. Never seen him. Next question, please. Grabbed a fishing rod, played with it, and suddenly hypnotized. Ah, here we go. Cinnamon. Co oh my goodness, we still need the in secret ingredient for that cinnamon, though. Nothing is free. Use the coffee machine. If you give me something I can sell here, business it well. Do you want my milk? Do you want my croissant? A Polaroid? Antique means old, not made two days ago, but the text is unique, well written. If you had a letter like this one, but antique, it would be perfect. Ah. Maybe I could shove a flask of milk onto it. I remember way, way long ago in school we had this technique of making paper look really old. And I think we soaked it in some kind of mix of like milk and coffee, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Tell you what I really want though, is to get out of here. Curious. Let's get out of there. Ah, that's better already. Luxury, owning expensive bones from extinct animals. My dream to have these. Luxury is expensive aged strong milk or a nice bluefin tuna. I'm not sure if I had a bluefin tuna. Maybe on some sushi. Leaky tap, tenant, distracted, who knows, mystery for another day. One thing dogs and cats have in common, we love watching TV, sports cooking, docudramas, reality TV, we consume it all. Dog chef, cooking show, not surprised. Is there anything inside the building that I missed here? Oh, 
Oh, there was. Someone forgot their grocery bag, it's just underneath it. I don't think it's a snake, let's take a closer look. It's a giant pickle. Never seen a snake, but I'd really like to eat one one day. Fresh pickle, no scales, no teeth. How have you never seen a snake, says Ion Shix. Well, in both Scotland and Sweden, I wouldn't say the snake population is overly abundant, so the opportunity hasn't really arisen. Coming from this apartment, oh, so maybe this is the place with, um, with the guy we're looking for? Zoos are a thing, Jake. I can't think of any zoo I've been into that has snakes and uh, as part of the exhibit. I had to sniff a lot of weird things. <laughs> no, no thanks, buddy. A wool ball collectible carn album. Fantastic. Secondary investigation, we should focus on Fluffy's case. Da -da -da -da. Can't get in, need the key. I don't like the way he said right key, maybe I need to figure out which key's which. Okay, well now we know something about him collecting cards or something, maybe that'll get us the key to his apartment. He collects wool ball player of cards. Yes, he asked me once if and I knew anyone who owed rare cards. Only collects bones and plushies. You know Erwin as good as a friend can, I ain't doubting you. Here are the spare key. Terrible janitor that would uh, just give the key away like that. Scary prospect, actually. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with this. I'm not going into the apartment, not without a warrant. Well, doesn't matter. In we go. Grilled codfish tomatoes. Very old. Incredible. I spot he can smell this from a police station. Doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it feels like he's almost making fun of me. And I'm the only reasonable person around. What are we? Oh, almonds! We want those. Can I combine those with the uh, croissant? There we go. Am I just sprinkling them on? Ugh. Can we eat it? No. Well, that's one half of the way, but I still need some ingredients to get that disgusting coffee to taste like cinnamon. Hmm. What else is going on in here, then? Frozen codfish, milk, and that's it. Erwin's meal plan is Patch's Nightmare. Really, I came up all this way and all I'm getting are almonds? That's a poor trade. Well, they were needed. I wonder if I can open up and mess with the water in the 
without Trista here. I'm sure they wouldn't be happy, but sometimes you just have to make people unhappy. No, okay. Ah, perhaps with his keys I can open up his mailbox. The key seems too rusty, honey. Oh my goodness. Okay, how about we de-rust it in this disgusting coffee? The coffee is so acidic, I bet it can clean this rusty key. Just dip it in and... Ta-da! Half the coffee evaporated. Kind of concerning that I drink this stuff. So it even has half gone away. Hey there, Rusty. Say your name and appears. He does. We got ourselves a wee package, and we're just going to steal it and leave it the thing open. So what's in the package? Heavens knows. Maybe if we go back to the station we can find out more. Where are we going? Back to the station, of course. What is Peanut? Looks about as close to human as anything we've had here, but look at that! A crudely drawn on balloon there. Now the best things ever, cardboard boxes, is a dog, Peanut. The mayor swung by, and oh my days. There are plenty of other croissants in Patch's office. Get one yourself. I probably have to go and get one and give it to you. Hmm. Alright, enough of this nonsense. Get the croissant, give the one we have away, see where that takes us. My <laughs> coffee machine's gun exploded. That is exactly how it works. Right, we'll get you that. Croissant, at least. And I'm a long way away from getting that cinnamon, I dare say. Okay, so now, get more croissants, hand them over. Inspector Nado is office on the floor, I don't think I've ever seen him, it's a joke. Rusty is pointing out that he might, uh... He is starting to think that the patrons might be a whole bunch of furries. He might be onto something there. It might be time for the Great Purge. Patches won a donut eating contest a couple of years ago. Told me he finished ten minutes before the cat who came in second, knowing his appetite I wasn't surprised. 
I've never been in an eating contest, and it seems like a very bad idea to enter one, but a little bit of me thinks it sounds like fun. Looking into my boss's personal folder is not the smartest thing to do. No, it's certainly not. But where are all those croissants at? I took almost all of them, but there's one left. Okay. Chance, meatballs, already got the bad cat's faces in my office. I wonder if there's anything else worth doing here. Oh well, let's, let's go forward with the clues that we have for now. I forget who wanted this croissant. Ah, no, it's come to me now. It was uh, the person at the front desk. Alright, Peanut. There you go. Is that all there is to it? <laughs> I've been to a, a place that deals in uh, medals and trophies and all that, and I have contemplated the thought of uh, just getting a load of them, completely making up the prizes on them and giving them to myself, but it's a funny thought, less fun to actually do. But I might still do it someday. Did I get anything out of all of that? Did I even inspect the the box that I found? I don't know, but I haven't checked out Fluffy in a while. What do you do in here? Says Rex and Rocks. Special Agents Rex and Rocks from the Bureau. Friend, I'm not your friend either. You should go now. What are we what are we doing here? I'm not surprised your ego is big enough that buying trophies and medals for yourself is something you seriously contemplated, says Red Armor. Quite. Doesn't does indeed seem like a waste of our time here. Imagine Jake having a date over asking about the Northwest Swedish Hubris Championship trophy that's on the mantle. Yeah, now the medals, medals and trophies are there more to remind you of what you've done rather than stand out on their own. I think. I don't have many, but I've got my tough Viking medals. Talk to Pixel about what he's up to? No, but I could get him into the morgue again. Time to make Jake a somehow managed to calm 30 people into playing Nancy Drew on stream now. That's something. It was more than 30. It's just, you know, not uh, not everyone managed to finish their game. Who were who were the DNFs? There was Nyx, there was Jagger, there was Pepper, there was Serenade. Pretty heavy on the mods on that list, actually. Yeah, again, with a 9 lifer. I'm surprised there isn't a skip text button to get through all this fast. Oh, I've got a skip text button, though it's Alt F4.
actually returning waffles to his um, to his office here seems like the right thing to do. It's been four hours between this and uh, the dance of fire and ice. And oh my days, a few more minutes of Inspector Waffles, my head would be done in harder than those hard songs from uh, Dance of Fire and Ice. Right, that's, that game was so good, and this game is so god-awful. But that's the mix you get when people submit the, the games in for the stream. I am bamboozled that this game has a 96% approval rating, but I guess... I think it's as Max was saying, there are the people that love their furry crap and the people that love their pixel crap coming together to hoist this thing up, but this is terrible. Just terrible. Uh, oh well, such as as you get. Uh, saving my game actually seems like a bad idea since this is something that I'll be promptly uninstalling, that's for sure. Uh, Oh right, so this is how the, the dog... It didn't even occur to me that that was the, the dog that we had. And I suppose that's Waffles. And there's the badge there. But holy moly. Jagger was bragging about his Nancy run in my chat. What a guy, says Dark Young. What a guy indeed. Okay, uh, I'm going to take the stream down for... How long do I have? couple of hours and then I'm going to come back with a few hours of Black and White 2's long play, which I really do need to chew through this week because come hell or high water we're having uh, RimWorld starting next. So Inspector Waffles, do yourself a favour and steer clear of this unless for some reason you're really into the fur, really into the bad jokes or really into the pixel stuff, but me I'm none of that. But that dance of fire and ice. Even though it looked very simple, and it was very simple. That was a taxing game to get down. Thoroughly recommend that. So a hit and a miss, but until I'm back with more of this, it's a cheers and a cheerio.